Hello everybody, this is Dream a back for part for, for the second trial, part three. So we got eight of you to go through in here in this session, starting off with Hedy and working our way down to Raybone. So let's not dilly dally, let's pick up where we left off. Okie dokie, representing Hedy for this second trial, we have got the Spino Tector. Now I feel like Hedy had a good chance here. We saw in part two, we saw how close the Gigas was to getting the free nil. So yeah, you can feel pretty confident if you're Hedy, and well, Hedy's already passed the first trial, so doesn't even need to succeed in this trial. But getting as many points as possible is always is important. You want to get finish as high as you can in the table, so you'll get a quote unquote easier matchup in the last 16. I say quote unquote because you know you could be paired up with anybody and you could win. You know, it doesn't the seeding doesn't really matter. But I like to do it for fun. Oh, what a start from Heddy. That's a crit. Not much damage, though. Quite disappointing, actually. It does trigger the Futaba Cannon. Which we see. Well, at this rate, I better get my codes out ready. Because I think we're going to see some Dino Tactor. Oh, look at that. A steady, a steady start from Hedy, but the Patagosaurus responds with his first attack of the match. Yeah, because of, like, it could do that. <laughs> Triggering the Aqua Vortex there. An Aqua Vortex will finish off the Patagosaurus. Ooh, well, it was a good start from Hedy, but all of a sudden... Things not looking good. Oh. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> well, talk about it all going wrong. And unfortunately for Hedy, that is no points from this trial. Which does mean that they're going to have to get at least two points from the third trial. Right then, representing Pionte in this second trial, we got a Shantungasaurus. Pionte tasted success in the first trial with the T-Rex. And we'll be hoping for a repeat performance with a shant. Well, we've had two 3-0 successes already. We might see a third. Well, we might see more than three. <laughs> right, taking on the uh, shant, we got the uh, plunderer from down under, the Matamurasaurus. Plunderer of lives, that is. And that's exactly what he plans to do to the shant. Plunder its life away. Two points will secure the minimum requirements to qualify for the last 16. And Shant does indeed get the first hit on the board. An attack boost will definitely help. Wow, look at it, it's so much bigger than the Mukaburasaurus. Really big. It's a tie. Although, we have seen that this Mukaburasaurus can cause some issues for... Well, we've seen it. We've seen it cause some damage. But it doesn't look like it's going to do it this time. That's, that's all she... That'll be all she wrote for the attack boost there. Maxed up. And that'll be all she wrote for the mat. And that's two points secured for Keonte. Right, coming in next, we got the Raj the Match. The Magisaurus. Can it fare better than the Mutaburasaurus did? Or will the Shant continue to dominate with its immense size and bulk? Ooh, Vagisaurus getting the first hit on the board is a stomping hammer. Whoosh, badoosh, whoosh. Shant taking its first hit in this match. But Emerald Garden has been triggered there. And Emerald Garden be activated. I wonder if there's a cap on how many times you can get the Emerald Garden triggered. I mean, it must be a cap, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's like two or something. I mean, you usually won't reach the cap. 
Maybe that's something I could test off camera. Anyway, back to this match. Oh, that's going to be big damage. Is this going to be two out of two for the Shant? Because it's a two platoon crush. <laughs> so it's two out of two. And push. Oh, come on, it survived. <laughs> oh, and it gets a cheap shot off. But again, the Emerald Garden getting triggered. Ooh, we're going to see some Volcano Burst. The Ragasaurus not going down without a fight. Hmm. We're at an interesting crossroads here. Because if the Shank gets a hit, it will be in a commanding position to get the 3-0. But, but if it's a tie, or the Raj gets a hit, then... Hmm. Oh, it's a tie! Well, that'll get rid of the Emerald Garden, but the Rajasaurus does go down. And that's four points thus far for, for Keontae. Right, coming in third. I don't think we've seen this guy yet. The Storacosaurus. Oh yeah, we've seen it once. And that's it. Will Storacosaurus finish off the Shant, or can the Shant pull off the free zero? Ooh, gets another hit on the board. Things looking good for Keontae. That's a tie. The Shant is getting worn down, though. That's another tie. Another tie will finish the job. Oh, I think that's it. The Shant is not going to survive. Great effort by Keontae, though. Really well done. They got four points. And after and given that they passed the first trial, I'm pretty confident we'll see them in the last 16 round. Right then, coming in, coming in from Pandora for Navi Flyer for the second trial, we got a Shunasaurus. Well, we've already seen one Shunasaurus get a 3 0 win. For Dino fans, will this Shunasaurus fare just as well? In fact, wait a minute, it might have the exact same moveset. Roll up. Okay, well, I'll, I'll check off camera. <laughs> Standing in the way of the Shuno, we've got the Gorgosaurus. Now, Shunosaurus will have tight advantage here, so I can see the tactic from Navi Fly. Get the two points secured. And remember, they, they passed the first trial as well. So all they need is two points. And they will meet the minimum, minimum requirements to qualify. <laughs> Oh, we got Archaeoptrix Charm. Could be a problem with Shunosaurus' blunder type. Ooh, but the Gorgosaurus gets the first hit. It's not the worst case scenario, though. Because it is only Fire Camp. And yeah, look at that. Type advantage there. Saving Shunosaurus major damage. Oh, that's not good. I've jinxed him, haven't I? I'm so sorry, I always jinx people in this. Oh, hang on, maybe not. Shunosaurus gets a crucial hit there. And light recovery, which is also crucial. Needs a hydro cutter, really. Oh, there's another fire cannon. Okay, it's not the worst case scenario. But it's not good. Okay, can they at least kill the Gorgosaurus? Because... At this rate, I don't think they're going to kill the Orhinoceratops, which comes in next. Oh, no. Well, they went for the crit. They have to go for it. But unfortunately for Navi Flyer, no points from this trial. Which means they're going to have to get at least two points from the third trial to have any chance of getting that last 16. Okay, representing Kaz for this second trial, we got Super Baryonyx. Awaken mode on two, I believe. I have to double check real quick. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. So yeah, another super dinosaur taking power. Ah, uh, no, wait, mode on three. Sorry. Taking on the Baryonyx, we got Lillian Sturness, and oh my god, I bet you guys are sick of seeing this thing by now. Well, yeah, but half of you picked Team Sex to do for this trial, by the way. 
Yeah. Okay, so wait and we'll freeze and see how this Baryonyx fares. And well, Kaz passed the first trial as well, so all they need is two points. And I got that magic seven. Right. Another tie. Lillian Stern is landing an Indra attack. Not good for the Burry. Blech. Things not looking good for cows. Well, it's all on the awakening now. Got nothing to lose yet. Can they get the hit? Oh, they can't! That's not good. That's probably gonna be all she wrote for the Barry. Well, that was underwhelming, wasn't it? <laughs> Unfortunately for Kaz, no points from this trial. Right, on to our next victim. Okay, representing Maastrichtian for this second trial, we got Terry. Now, this is interesting, because if Maastrichtian somehow completes this trial, they will move up to 19 points and be nigh uncatchable. So no one else will be able to catch them, and they will get the top seed in. And they don't have fire moves as well, which is another interesting stipulation here. So I'm eager to see how our champ, how our current champ does. Skip. <laughs> oh. He's got the dino stuffer to protect him, so yeah, let's see how he does. And, and two dive moves. But it's Lillian Sterner starting with the first hit. Oh, wow. Did loads of damage. A heroic type of fact bit. And that's a crit, but the dino stuffer's gonna deny him. And this is not a good start for Master Ship. Ooh, that's more like it. That's more like it for Master Ship. And a crit on the board. And young Weera dive as well. Oh, another tie. Another tie. Oh, and that's another crit. A bit overkill, because the Lillian Sturness is going to die anyway, but a crucial hit there, which defeats Lillian Sturness and gives Mastrishan two points. Right, coming in next, we got a Nodosaurus. Will Nodosaurus finish Terry off, or can Terry make it two out of two? Um, nope, I think Terry's gonna get finished off here. I doubt he's gonna survive this earthquake, and if he does, it's gonna be by a tiny sliver of half. Oh, uh, nope, nope. No chance in surviving. And unfortunately for Maastrician, it's only two points from this trial, but like I said earlier, they've already done enough and they're gonna qualify for the last 16, so yeah. Okie dokie, representing Nopi for this second trial, we've got an Isosaurus. Nopi succeeded in the first trial here, but two points from this second trial will get them to the minimum requirement of seven points that they need to qualify for the last 32, 16. Taking on the Isosaurus, we got Patagosaurus. Think, yeah, we've seen this guy already. Hmm, interesting moveset this Isosaurus. It's super defense type, I might add. And it's a very resilient dinosaur. And it's built to take a lot of damage, so we'll see how it fits. Well, it's going to be taking some damage here. An Aqua Whip from the Pat. Ooh, 
but Isosaurus responds with a hit of his own. A light recovery to come as well. Oop, another hit. Only problem with this Isosaurus, though, is it doesn't, you know, doesn't seem to have very... doesn't hit very hard. I mean, it hits quite well, actually. I think it hits harder than most gold dinosaurs, but it doesn't have any, like, real heavy hitting moves. That's what I'm trying to say. But it didn't need to dispatch the Patagosaurus. Right, coming in next, we got the Roman impersonator, the Carifosaurus. Can Carifosaurus land some hits on the Isosaurus? Or will the Isosaurus continue to stomp away? Oh, that's a crit, but the dino stuffer's going to stop it. Could be a crucial dino stuffer, that. Ah, it's a little toy. Ooh, speaking of crits, Isosaurus landing a crit of his own. Yeah, you can kind of see that they have very similar colorings, these two, don't they? Although, I'll say the Isosaurus is a bit darker coloured than the, uh, Kreefosaurus. Look at Ty. Ty's wearing down Isosaurus. Ooh, but another crit there. Things looking good for Nopi. A Ty will finish off the Kreefosaurus and secure another two points. Oh, it's a crit, though! Is that the turning point? An atomic bomb! Oh, I killed it! Oh. Um. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> well, um. Unfortunately, the note me, that's only two points. But two points was all they needed, so. You know. Uh, kicking themselves a bit there. Could it should have really got the four. Right then. Representing Convoy for this second trial, we got Super Eel Carcaria. Well, this could be a very interesting contest here. The Super Eel Carcaria has the heat eruption, it has the type advantage over the Lillian Sternus. The Awaken Mode on 3. So, yeah, we'll see how Convoy fares. I think they passed the first trial. Pretty sure they did. Ooh, but that's not a good start. And this Lillian Sternus is heroic type as well. So this Dino Swing's going to do a lot more damage. Oh, look at that! Oh. Regretting picking Team 6 now? Well, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> Wow! Eocarcaria getting smoked by Lillian Sternus. Okay, representing Raybone in this second trial, we got a Gygus, Spectral Armor. Well, we've already seen how well a Gygus can do in this trial. And Raybone will surely be hoping for the same sort of success with their Gygus. Skip, because we've seen this guy. Lillian Sternus fresh off his dominant victory over Eocarcaria. Raybone, though, does need the points from this trial, as he did fail the first trial, so he needs something. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah, I bet you're all regretting picking Team 6 now, aren't you? <laughs> okay, yeah, the type advantage did limit the damage. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, and Gygus gets its first hit of the match. Decent damage dealt there, filling up the bar as well. Ooh, another hit from Gygus. Rainbow needs to kill this Lillian Sternus and is one hit away from doing so. And in fact, the tile do it. 
And there's the tie. And the bar's in a good position as well, so things looking good for Raybo. Right, coming in next, we got a Nodosaurus. Can Gygus finish off the Nodosaurus, or will Nodosaurus fight back? Ooh, is a tie, but you know what that means. It's Spectral Armor time. Jagama! Ooh, well, we do know that a Nodosaurus can survive a Spectral Lancer, even if it's not at full health. We do know that. Ooh, a crucial hit. Has Raybo missed their chance? Um, I'm not sure if this is going to kill the Nodus, the Gygus. Oh, it doesn't! But look at it! Can Gygus get this correct? He needs this hit. Oh, he gets it! Okay, this will be interesting. Will Nodosaurus survive? Because this is a crit. You know, the last one wasn't a crit. So it'll be interesting. I think... Well, we're going to find out if the crit actually makes a difference. I think it does. And it does. Well, here we go. I've just conquered a myth. So apparently, the Spectral Lancer, and I'm assuming this is the case for all the armored dinosaurs, does more damage if it hits with a crit. So there you go, this Dinosaur King knowledge for you. Right, okay, yes, while I was talking about that, Sorolophus came into play. And that is a big four points for Raybone, and that's probably all they're going to get. Because I doubt they're going to kill Sorolophus. Nope! <laughs> but Geigers did his job, got the four points, and got Raybone off the mark. Right, I'll end this session here, so hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for next time where we will conclude the second trial. And until then, ta-ta!